Okay, here's this part. Okay, Samantha runs a flower shop. Um, she buys all her flowers from a wholesale. It costs Samantha $9 for 11 pieces of flour. Samantha realized she needs more, more flowers and bought 15 flowers for $11. Okay, Samantha then sells her flowers for $3 each. Write a system of equi linear equation for both cost and income, then graph. Okay, the first one is the cost. Here's Samantha's cost. See how it says cost? We want to write equation for both cost and income. Let's look at cost. Um, and then here's income. Income is easy. Samantha sells. See, the sales is the income. is $3 each. So Y equals to $3 each. Each what? X represents the number of um, each flowers, number of flowers. Okay, let's put that here. This is the number of flowers. Okay? And then cost, though, is trickier because we got two ordered pairs right here. So we cost is nine dollars. Um, well, the nine dollar goes in the Y. The number, the dollar sign is always the Y. So eleven flowers for nine dollars. Okay, and then she can then she bought um, fifteen flowers, um, 15 flowers for $11. Okay, so let's find the slope. We can graph this one, but we'll wait. Find the slope, um, y2 minus y1, I should have given you more room, over x2 minus x1. And then we find that slope is 11 minus 9, this is x2, y2, over 15 minus 11, which makes it um, 2 over 4, which is a half. So my slope is a half. Okay, makes it hard. So we got y equals 2 y minus y1 equals to m parentheses x minus x1. So we get, we're going to use this because that's your x1, y1. So y minus 9 equals to 1 half times x minus 11. Okay? So that gives you, um, y minus 9 equals to 1 half x minus 11 over 2. Add 9, add 9. Let's make this a decimal. So divide 11 by 2, you get 5.5. Um, That's a decimal. Add that together, you get y equals to 1 half x minus 4.5, right? Yes. So you can graph this um, because these are small numbers. And on your test, I'm going to give you small numbers like this. I'm going to even give you whole numbers. This is a test question on there. I will give you two, two order pair like this. So then, um, then state whether the graph is one solution, infinite, Many solution or no solution? Explain how you know. Oh, I... Alrighty. Um, so here, one solution, infinite solution, or no solution? Explain how you know. So, um, oh gosh. Okay, explain how you know. Let's see. We know it's going to be one solution because the slope are different. 
see that this, the number next to x are different. Um, the solution of the graph is one solution. Because the slope are different. And the, the slope are, are different. Because the slope are different. That's all you need to explain with one solution. The y-intercept can be the same. It doesn't matter if different. But the slope must be different. So the coefficient next to x must be different in order to be one um, to one solution. Okay? So we need to find where they intersect. So we got four and a half. Oh, this is a positive. What did I put? Oh, you guys. That's a positive four and a half. So one, two, three, four, because my five, four and a half is up there. And you go up one over two, right? Up one over two. Up one hole, one hole over one, two. You're going to do these by one also. Okay, so up one would be right here over one, two. Up one over one, two. You're taking half each. That's one. Up one over one, two. So it went 4.5 to 5.5. 5.5 .5 .5 .5 to 6.5. Okay, that's what it's doing. So up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. And we get, we don't like it because it's not nice whole numbers, but this is how we graph it. Don't, because it's a half. And then you draw your connections. And this is the cost in dollars. Cost in dollars. Okay. All right, and then the other one is 3, y equals 3x, so the y-intercept here obviously is plus 0 right here. Y-intercept is 0, 0. The slope is, or the rate of change is 3 over 1. That means up 3, right 1. Up 3, right 1. Up 3, right 1. Up 3, right 1. Okay, so the intersection... is at 2 somewhere here. Right there. Looks like it. The intersection is 2 and 5.5. What's that mean? Two and a half dollars, two flowers for five dollars and fifty cents. Does that sound right? Yes. That's where they meet. What is the solution of the graph? The solution is 2 and 5.5. I believe so. 5.5 to $6. Huh. It's not quite 2. It's not quite two. We said the solution is about because we're estimating because it's not round number. If I substitute it back in, it's two. You don't get five point five. You get six. So that's why. What is the rate of change? And what does it mean? So you need to be able to explain what one half means. So it's best to go. Okay, these are your dollars. This is your flower. So same thing, this is your do dollar, this is your flower. So you're selling $3 for one flower, and you're buying it for um, $1 for every two flowers. So 50 cents a flower. That's what you're explaining, okay? 
what is the y-intercept of each line, okay, what does 0 and 4.5 mean? Zero flowers, you pay $4.50. Um, that means you're probably paying some setup fee, membership fee, something. Um, that's the cost line. Forgot to put that in. This is for the selling line, the income line. Okay. Um, so this represents zero dollars for four fifty. So that may mean that they pay four dollars and fifty cents for a setup, membership fee, or something. This this is the um, cost. This is the selling zero zero. That means you sell zero, you make zero dollars. Still owes four dollars and fifty cents. Okay, let's look at this. Tell whether there's one solution, infinite solution. Tell whether the following information, infinite many solution or no solution. Explain how you know using the slope and rate of change. Okay. Let's look at this. This is good. My slope is 2. My rate of change is 2 over 1. My y-intercept is at... My y-intercept is at... 3 or 0, 3 as we say it. Okay, so let's see for this one. We've got 4x minus 2y equals to neg to 10. We need to solve it to slope intercept form. 3 minus 4x minus 4x. This will be on your test. Okay, this is a test question. Equals to negative 4x plus 10. Divide by negative 2, y equals to 2x minus 5. Okay, will it be the same? My m is m is 2, look, 2x is the same. So yeah, it's, but these are different, the y-intercept are different. So this line will be no solution no solution because the slope of 2 is the same the slope of 2 is the same and the y-intercept of negative 5 and 3 are different. They're different. The constant is different. Okay, let's graph it. Just make they're going to be parallel. The slope's the same. Let's graph this. It's at 3. We're going to graph this one right now. Y intercept is at 3. Highlight it. I'm graphing this one. Up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And then go the other way. Okay. And then the other situation is at negative 5. Up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Notice they'll never meet, no matter what. Okay, and, and then typically you write your equation on. Here we go. Okay, this one is for y equals to 2x plus 3, and this one is for... 4x plus minus 2y equals 10. So people know which equation is which. Okay, negative 2. Y is negative 2. Here's negative 2 for y. And you just draw a straight line. Oops, sorry, not that big. 
and there's your line and this one is a zero and you up three right four up three right four up three right four you pull the other way down three right four Okay, the intersection looks like right here. At, um, that looks like the intersection. That doesn't look like the. Hmm. It's estimated. We can substitute it in to find the exact, but we don't have time right now. Tell them whether the information is one solution, infinite solution, or no solution. Explain, okay. All right, here we go. This is gonna be a test question, you guys. Um, Caitlin is saving money for a new outfit. Her allowance in a savings account is $10 after two weeks. So time and ten dollars dollars is y after four weeks time weeks and weeks her savings count is fourteen dollars okay compare that to this okay so let's compare that we need to make this into find the slope of this rate of change which is m equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 m equals to 14 minus 10 over 4 minus 2 m equals to 4 over 2 m equals to 2 so then you can go y minus y1 let's get x1 y1 equals to m parentheses x minus x1 so y minus 10 equals to m which is 2 parentheses x minus 2 y minus 10 equals to 2x minus 4 okay so we get plus 10 plus 10 y equals to 2x plus 6 compared to this we need to solve this this, this will be on your test um, divide by 4, divide by 4, x is on the right side already, y by itself, you get 2x plus 6. Hey, look, it's the exact same line. This is called infinite solution. Infinite solution because the slope, what we call the coefficients, the, co the, the rate of change, which is called slope and y-intercept. I would like you to write rate of change. Y-intercept are the same, making it the same line. Okay, a bike is going at a rate. I'm going to change it to red. A bike is going at a rate of 3 miles per hour. So the bike is going at a rate of 3 miles per hour times the number of hours, x equals to hours, number of hours, equals to y, that equals y is the, d the distance that it goes, total distance, compared to this, hmm, okay, so here my slope is at 3, my y-intercept is at 0 or 0, 0, okay, so we're going to solve this equation here. Do minus 9x minus 9x. 3y equals to negative 9x. Oh, we know it's already different. Look. Wait, let, let's see. Plus 8. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. y equals to negative 3x. 
plus 8 over 3. doesn't matter. Look, our slope are different. We want to know it. all it's asking is, is it going to be infinite, one solution or no solution? Do they want exact points? It's going to be one solution because the slope are different. 3 and negative 3 are different. One solution because slope are different. Okay, oh my gosh, look at this. Minus 3x minus 3x. Oh no, it's y is by itself. We're going to leave it alone. My slope here is 3. My y-intercept is at 7 or 0, 7. Um, here, let's get rid of the fractions. Times 4, times 4, 3x, 2y equals 12, minus 3x, 2y equals to negative 3x plus 12. Okay. Slopes are different, so one solution. The slope are different. That means they're going to meet somewhere. They're going to cross because slope are different. Okay, make this one solution, no solution. Okay, you guys know how to do this. You put this two, three. So you get 2 minus 3, parentheses, x minus 10, equals to, we don't know yet, 2 minus 3x plus 30. You get 32 minus 3x equals, okay. So this, for no solution, we need to make it 3, negative 3x plus 2, whatever. So that sauce is different than 32. It's no solution the on solution. No solution. One solution, I mean, um, infinite solution, infinite, infinite. Okay, let's use the same one. 2 minus 3 parentheses x minus 10 equals, okay, so we get here, my plus 30, 32 minus 3x, infinite solution needs to be the same, negative 3x um, plus 32. That's our answer. Now, one solution, the um, x has to be different. So we're going to get this here. If you add 30, negative 3x, plus 32, add 3x, 3x, you notice that 0, 0, 32 equals to 32, infinite solution. This will be no solution. This doesn't equal. One solution, remember, they're different. To have one solution, this has to be different. So, you can use the same number. Make it easier. I wrote too big. Okay, let's do it here. Equals um, 2 minus, remember, you can choose any number you want. You don't have to use the same one each time. Um, and then we get 32 minus 3x. So I can choose 4x plus 5. If I wanted to, plus 5, 4x plus 5, and then I 
plus 3x plus 3x, that's 7x plus 5 equals to 32, minus 5, minus 5, and then I've got Bucky, this is 28, right? 28 equals to 7x, divide by 7, x then equals to 4, one solution, we've got an answer. Okay, that's how you do these problems.